You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina, right there. Looks like it was her birthday. And I'm going to show you photos of the family. And this photo was taken at 9835. In the dining room, you see the kitchen from there. That's Grandma Yola's son, Jack. John Lemuel Banker II, named after Grandpa Bob's dad, John Lemuel Banker I. And uh, Grandma Yola is going to be telling us a little bit about her Waldensian heritage. She was pure Waldensian, both of her parents were Waldensian from the valleys of northwestern Italy of Piemonte, around Pinerolo up in the mountains there. Naples, 1945. 38. Bible reading at home. Lao Angogona, 1950. Oh, look at the little kid. So cute. Mm -hmm. The whole family, four kids. <laughs> uh, well, women in traditional dress. See that my mother had this. Uh, when I ever get home, show you a picture. She's dressed just like that. That, I mean, it was just uh, when Evelina had the Evelyn Godino had that party for all the well at her house that she knew. They had. Every woman dressed up like that. Oh my gosh, so they were wearing like yeah, a, little, yeah. a little hat. Uh -huh. It kind of looks like a snow hat with uh -huh. that thing on top, you know. And like a bonnet. Woman dressed up like that. Oh my gosh, so they were wearing like yeah, a, little, yeah. a little hat. Uh -huh. It kind of looks like a snow hat with that uh -huh. thing on top, you know. And then a little shawl. I want, do you know what colors these were? I don't, you don't, know. You don't remember. Uh -uh. Light colors They're or light. something. I can see that. But uh, you'll see that in the, in the picture. My gosh, and then uh, like a little dress, like a long, long skirt long. or something. Mm -hmm. Exactly like, like that. Or something. Was it a long skirt? Is that what mm -hmm. that is? Can't you mm -hmm. guess it? Mm -hmm. And they're all carrying Bibles. <laughs> wow. So that was um, 39 Waldensian women in traditional dress in the historic valleys, 1950. That's neat that your mom dressed exactly like that. Exactly. Okay. 40. What, well, you, you want to read that one? Waldensian women in traditional dress. Uh, 1950s. That's probably about the when she took the picture. <laughs> but the, this picture was taken in the historic valley. Oh, yeah, I know. 40. Uh, centennial service at Via Specio, Waldensian Church in Palermo, 1960s. Inauguration of 41. Inaug This photo was taken at 98.35 in the backyard. There's the plum tree. I don't think it's there anymore, but it sure yielded a lot of good plums right there. And the apricot tree on the right. But the big one was the plum tree. Another photo of 9835, the side yard. Might be the apricot tree in the front there, I think. We planted the, uh, the vines, uh, Thompson seedless grape vines. Uh, but I think at this point we didn't have that little fence up yet. And there's the fig tree. And uh, Gramiola's son, uh, Gramiola's son, Jack, uh, he kept his motor home there for a little while. Lived there a little bit while he was building his house on Belboa Island.
Yeah, I think pretty sure this photo was taken in Boston when I was going to Harvard Summer School, 1998, probably at the hotel. We lived in a hotel for a short period of time before Grandma Yola and my mom, Yolanda Lani, rented a house. Uh, they rented, I think, just the, yeah, just the bottom floor of a house uh, nearby, and I stayed in the dorm. This is a good picture of me and Grandpa Bob. And this was at 9845 in the dining room. I imagine I was about in sixth grade then. I think that's the dress I wore to my sixth grade graduation. And Grandpa Bob turned 75 then, so his last full year. He passed away at age 76. I'm sure he would have lived a lot longer if he hadn't smoked. He quit, but, you know, too late by then. Damage was probably already done.